here we are in sailing Yarvi region at my friend Janles garage. And uh, now we have a friend uh, Kuulant. And this handy little fella is warming the oil pan from the bottom so it's easier to change the oil. In fact, maybe I turn it off so <laughs> you can hear me better. Okay, so the plan is to change the clutch plates. And I already have removed the front pipe. Uh, that was like last fall, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, next step is to remove this piece of subframe from here to here. Uh, I don't know why it has to be removed, but I guess it's because uh, you can't reach the bolts any other way. But yeah, so let's just remove the subframe and uh, after that we have to uh, remove this right cheek of the engine a cover, yes. And from there we should be able to just change the plates. Nice and easy. But we will see how that turns out. <laughs> so, the subframe is now removed. Uh, it was uh, two bolts here, two bolts here and uh, Two bolts here, surprisingly easy job to remove. So next step uh, is to remove this engine cover and uh, let's do just that. Uh, but I'd like to remind you that the uh, most useful thing you would possibly have in a job like this is the exploded view of the stuff that you are doing because uh, in reassembling when you have uh, some stray bolts you just wonder oh shit cover is now off and everything looks pretty nice this is of course the clutch and uh, water pump there and some other stuff uh, this must of course be changed every time the engine is torn apart because this is the casket that seals the hole. Uh, so yeah, so the next thing to do is to loosen these bolts here and take off the clutch assembly and replace the plates that can be seen. Yay, fun time! Yeah, so these are the springs of the clutch and um, the service manual tells that uh, the service limit, which is the shortest amount that they can be, is uh, 33.1 millimeters. And these are pretty worn. You can see the wear right there. Uh, these, all of these have been so far, when measured, 33.4 to 33.5. So they are nearly gone <laughs> but at this time 
uh, I don't have the money or the time to replace them so next summer I will just uh, postpone this thing by putting a spacer uh, there are uh, one spacer uh, which is from the factory we just put another one so we will be able to drive one more perhaps two more summers but this needs to be replaced so so it's a uh, <laughs> no wonder that the clutch is uh, sliding but yeah so let's just put some spacers and uh, replace those plates and I think it will be just fine We have replaced the clutch plates now, so there are eight of these and I believe six of these metal plates. Uh, the friction plates were soaked in mineral oil for a while. Uh, and the next step is to replace the casket. Uh, oh no, the next step is actually put the um, center hub on uh, and put some spacers and the springs and then replace the casket and the engine cover. And then fill it with oil and coolant. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, so the uh, engine cover is now tightened uh, slightly. Uh, the service manual says that uh, the amount of torque uh, in these bolts are even somewhat uh, well. Uh, I have this old torque range, but the range is uh, 4 feet to 210 millimeters, so it's a way too big to measure uh, tons really. But how wrong can we go? We just uh, tighten this with our. Uh, in Finland, we have this uh, saying, Peristuntuma, which means. Uh, ass feeling so let's just tighten this with ass feeling <laughs> 